vibration is a subdiscipline of dynamics that deals with repetitive motions. Some familiar examples are the vibration of automobiles, guitar strings, cell phone, or pendulum. And vibration can be unwanted or wanted. For example, uh, vibration in automobiles or aircraft are undesired because they can result in discomfort to the passenger and structural damage due to fatigue. However, in the case of music or communication, for example, vibration are extremely useful. The vibration are modeled mathematically using fundamental principle and analyzed using results from calculus and differential equation. Today, we will only consider single degree of freedom models where there is only one displacement coordinate. We begin by studying the motion of a spring mass system. We consider a mass attached to a massless spring on a frictionless surface, as it's shown here on this um, drawing. Here, K is the stiffness of the spring. It's also known as a spring constant. M is the mass of the object. And the force F of K apply by the string, which tries to like restore the spring to an unstretched state. We know the second law of Newton, and so we can get the following um, differential equations. This equation is a second order linear homogeneous ordinary differential equation, and we know it can be solved assuming the solution is of the form of x of t here. If we differentiate x of t twice and we substitute it in our differential equation, we will get the characteristic equations. Then, by using Euler's identity, we can rewrite the equation x of t. And this equation shows that the solution of the differential equation that describes the motion of the mass is sinusoidal and has a frequency equal to the square root of k over m. And this is called the natural frequency of the system and will be represented by omega of m. By using the equation for the initial displacement um, and the velocity x of 0 and v of 0, we can obtain the following equation for the two unknown constants a and phi. And then by differentiating x of t, we get, we get the differential equation for the velocity and the acceleration. So here we've seen that with Maple, we can um, study analytically the response of a system, but we can also uh, use Maple to study the response in different applications. So in the first example we're going to see today, um, we want to see the response of a system depending on the initial parameters. Here we will overlay the position, velocity and acceleration of a spring mass system. We know these parameters. So we know the mass here of the system, one kilogram. We know the stiffness of the spring, two newton per meter. We know the initial velocity and the initial, uh, sorry, initial displacement and initial velocity. And with that, we can get the natural frequency of the system. From the previous equation um, that we defined just uh, before, we uh, know the equation of the amplitude and phi. Then once again, using the equation we um, described previously, we will define three functions into Maple, a function for the displacement, for the velocity and acceleration of the mass. So here, x, v, and a. And then we will be able to plot these um, three functions, x of t, v of t, and a of t, and overlay these three plots here on this graph. 
And we can see that the displacement here is of a sinusoidal, sinusoidal form, as we said before. For the next example, we want to do something similar, but this time um, we don't know the value of the initial parameters, uh, the mass, the stiffness, the initial displacement and the initial velocity. And we want to see uh, what will be the response of the system when we modify these parameters. So here, in order to do that, we are creating what we call a math app. Uh, and that will help us to study the impact of these parameters on the response of the system. So we're using component here to set the value of the mass, the stiffness, initial displacement velocity. And we can see the response directly here on the graph. So these components um, are components that you can program. And so to do that, um, the programming will look like that, where you define your m, k, x of zero, v of zero, like you will have done in the previous example. You define your equation. So here are your differential equation. And you plot the results here on the same graph. So here with the uh, MAT app, we can explore the response of the system depending on the initial condition. And the last example for today uh, will be creating an amplitude plot um, depending on the initial condition. So here we will have a range of value for the initial displacement, initial velocity, um, but we know the uh, natural frequency of the system. So we know that the natural frequency here is defined by omega in my amplitude um, equation. So I'm going to um, define my omega, so it's 10 radians per second. I have the equation of my amplitude here that I know from my previous analysis. And then if I want to make an um, surface plot, that will be a three-dimensional um, surface plot. I'm going to use the plot 3D command within Maple. Uh, so here I want to plot the amplitude A that I've defined before, and I want to use um, a range of value for x of 0 and v of 0. So I know that x of 0 will be um, between minus O2 and O2. And I know that V of zero will be between minus two and two. If I click OK, I should get here my surface plot. So I have the uh, surface plot of the amplitude depending on um, the initial condition, the range we define for uh, initial velocity and initial displacement for the system. So today we've seen that with Maple we can do the analytical study of a system, and we can then apply the equations to different systems and use different visualization tools to get the response of the system.